What is up? Gear Squad, it's Peaches, not Chain Gear. And we're not back with anything. We're doing a gear cast review of the game Overcooked. Now, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. We got some editing going on. We got some, like, written insight. I'm literally reading off a script. So I really hope that you enjoy my thoughts on, honestly, a game I don't think you should miss out on this year. Ghost Town Games should be commended. Couch cooperative experiences in the always online gaming world we live in today are way too few and far between. Overcooked is as chaotic as it is hilariously fun, and playing through its colorful, charming, and incredibly challenging levels reminded me of days long gone of wired controllers, sunken couches, and snack binging with friends into the wee hours of the morning. It's a four-player cooperative cooking game, and it's definitely added onto my short list of favorite gaming experiences of 2016. The idea of the game is simple. You are a chef. You must prepare as many meals as you can within the allotted time, all the while you prep ingredients, the recipes getting more complicated as you progress through its many clever levels. Salads, burgers, soups, pizzas, all of these dishes require specific ingredients and cooking times, but the simple controls and the helpful user interface makes this an easy to learn, difficult to master affair. A large amount of AAA developers love to slap the word co-op on the box of their games. It gets folks buying multiple copies, and more often than not, all they feel they have to do is dump a group of players in the same spot to shoot the same things collectively, rather than actually creating an environment where you need to implement tactics. Here, a strategy has never been more important. You'll be finding yourself assigning roles amongst your friends, like one chops the ingredients, one preps them, one serves as a busboy, etc. And sometimes, the simplest bump in synergy could end in disaster. Backed up orders, missed calls, dirty dishes, and a terrible score. After so many games where helping your friends hop ledges or fending off waves of bullet sponges, Overcooked is a breath of fresh air. Also, it's incredibly tough. Moving platforms, faulty power, fires, slippery ice, and thieving rats all come into play at one point or another, making each level memorable, unique, and all the more satisfying to earn the three stars it takes to max out a level score. My friends and I were out of breath, wiping our brows after charging adrenaline rushes where one order made all the difference. If we failed to make a three-star rating, we never blamed the level. We always looked inward so that we could uh, look at ourselves and diversify our tactics. In terms of content, you've got a great chunk of levels to explore, and there's fun to be had accumulating as many stars as you can and unlocking different sorts of wacky characters to be your avatar. For example, I took fancy to a cat, while my friend loved playing as a raccoon in a wheelchair. The game has such a charming sense of color and shape. The game is $16.99 USD on the PlayStation Store at time of writing, and I seriously cannot recommend it enough. I was smiling all the way through, and I keep thinking about it even when romping through my AAA action super explody awesome shooty games of today, and of course, when I'm in the kitchen. My friends and I have already formed some great memories and narratives, and I'm sure we're looking forward to telling our friends. Needless to say, I'm hungry for more. So basically, those are my thoughts of the game Overcooked. Um, it's a blast. Like, uh, Chain Gear and I blasted through, like, two entire worlds with um, our buddy Anthony, and um, there, was some, there was some crying, there was some cursing, there was a lot of sweating, a lot of bickering, but there was so many, so many high fives. So many high fives, so many like moments of celebration, like I can't express enough how much fun I have with this game. And honestly, it's one of my games of the year so far. And that's saying a lot. We've had Doom, we've had Uncharted 4, and this is easily on the list. Uh, also, if you don't have any friends, don't buy the game. You cannot play this by yourself. Like you're, um, If you play this by yourself, you have um, two characters on the screen that you have to press a button to change between them, and l literally it defeats the whole purpose of the game. It turns into a whole rigmarole of tedium and dismay rather than the fun cooperative experience it should be. So, on a scale, I mean, change your like to go through. I'm, I pay full price for this game. It's $16.99, it's, and it's one for your friends too, so seriously, I cannot recommend this enough. Tell us what you think of the video, though. Tell us what you think of this format. We're experimenting a lot of stuff. We're doing some editing here. We, I, like, you know, of course, I've written this review. 
Um, so tell us what you're thinking in the comments section below. If you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But if you do dislike it, tell us how we can improve so we can keep giving you more, a lot better chain gear gaming goodness. Now, you stay frosty, everybody. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>